What's up guys, Ergonix here, and I know I haven't done any videos in a while, I've been super sick the last couple of weeks. Uh, you might still be able to hear it in my voice, I don't know. But, you'll forget, I'll, hopefully you'll forgive me after what I am doing this video for. Anyways, lots of people have been asking about a way to save their settings for their keyboard visualizer. And I have found a way to do that. So, as you can see here, I have a visualizer batch file. For those of us who are really old and grew up using DOS, we already know what these are. Um, and the visualizer. Now, these two files, well, this file is all that's going to be in the zip file that I'm going to put in the description below for you to download. But it has to be in the same folder as the visualizer exe file. Make sure you have that set. Now, once you extract the batch file, just right-click and edit. And I'm going to open this up here so I can explain all the settings to you. Now, the visualizer file name, fairly straightforward. If you happen to have renamed your visualizer file, it literally just put the file name in the quotes. That's all you have to do. Uh, amplitude is amplitude, obviously. This is pretty straightforward. I mean, I named all, everything after what it is in the actual window. Uh, background brightness, background brightness, size, size, decay, uh, delay, normalization offset, normalization scale. Now, the, for anything that has a list, in this case, as you can see here, we have the no windowing and the, uh, the hanging and the window, or hanging window, hanging window, black man. Uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, same thing is going to apply through all of these other lists. For instance, 0 is none, uh, for red it'll be 6, for sign it'll be 10, and all you have to do is change this number to whatever number is appropriate for the setting that you would like to keep. Same thing with foreground color, single color mode for those single LED devices and visualizer averaging mode. Uh, do not mess with this unless you're familiar with the batch files. You might break something. So I would recommend not touching this stuff. This literally just runs the program. So I'm going to get a piece of audio going here. Now, as you can see by looking at my keyboard, there's virtually no, no effect whatsoever. So I gotta change this. So I'll set it to 500. Now you can see that it's actually doing some shit. Now, up here you can see that I, oops, you can see that I set it to 500 as well. Uh, background brightness is different. It's set to eight. Average size is set to 10. Decay and the delay are both also different. I also have my default foreground set to the white cyan blue right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the visualizer and I'm going to open it using the batch file. Now as you can see, all my values have stayed. It's all you need to do. Winning! It's fantastic! It's so good! So yeah, that's all you got to do. If this video was helpful for you, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff. If you feel the need to, you know, find those things, I'm not going to bother linking to them. Uh, this song is You and I by Infinite. There will be a link down to his SoundCloud and Facebook in the description below, so go ahead and hit him up as well. Make sure you say I sent you. And uh, yeah, that's it for today, guys. Keep being awesome. And thanks for watching.